vlogging, my weekly vlog, and I thought I would clear my shoes out. But as I got them all out everywhere, I thought maybe we'll make it the fashion video for the weekend. <laughs> Thing is, I was going to go through each pair, but I just don't think, I mean, if you could see behind me, I'll do a quick span in a minute. I threw away all my heels, all the massive wedges, all on the skip when we had the first lockdown, because no one's a size four and nobody, they were like this, these heels. The garage has got my clubbing heels in, but that's different. And my long boots and wellies aren't in here, and my slippers aren't in, in this. And I thought, when I looked at them, I didn't have that many. I've got them all out of all the boxes, and I'm absolutely thinking, I don't know what to do, because they're the one thing that I don't actually waste money on. I mean, I obviously have, but recently I've been buying better pieces to keep. And when I look back at all the shoes I've got, they all were quite a nice quality. From Aldo, were probably the cheapest, up to the the Gucci. And so I can't throw any of them away. I really don't know what to do. I'm going to go through them. I'm going to have to put certain ones in certain places and then the ones I'm not sure on. I think in the spare room, there's no room in the spare room, so um, I need a bigger unit. Anyway, I'll turn this around and show you. Okay, this is the ridiculous, ridiculousness, <laughs> I'll stand up here, of it. This is ridiculous. I mean, there's actually loads more rugs in the other room that I'm trying to sell because I don't really wear, I only wear them if I'm pottering outside or going to mum's or something in the car, I wouldn't go out in my Uggs anymore, they're not, those type of Uggs are not my fashion anymore, I just think they look like you've got your slippers on, and I used to love them, but they're not me, but I do keep those two pairs, because <laughs> yeah, trips in the car quickly to see dad or mum or something, they're quite handy, right, what I'll do is I'll go to each section and show you. Okay, we'll start with the Valentino slides. I absolutely love these. I bought them about two, two years ago, two or three years ago. Had to get them in both colors. I just adore them. They are so comfortable, beautiful. I'm just really careful not to knock the little things off, but you do get spare ones in the, in the box and they've still got their box. And these are the, I think it's just, I can't even say it. Um, this logo. I'll have to look them up. I love those. Absolutely love them. But I'm wearing a lot more gold at the minute. So they're more, I've worn these on holidays by, you know, walking down to breakfast. I think they're so, I love them. Obviously not with socks like Kai does. This year's purchase that we hardly use because we didn't go anywhere, the Castano wedges. Absolutely love them. And I wouldn't mind them in cream. But the thing is, because we didn't do a lot, I hardly even wore them. I think I wore them to the pub once. Little espadrilles, they're really nice. They're not expensive. They were under £100, but I think they're lovely. They are the most gorgeous Valentino sandals. I got these at Vista Village. This time last year, Chinese New Year, just before Corona started. They're beautiful. They wear, wear silver jewellery. I like to match my shoes to my jewellery. I think they're gorgeous. I love them. In the summer's purchase, because we were in a lot and walking around, I love these Chloe sandals. I will wear these all summer this year. You just have to get your toes used to that middle bit because usually I'm fine with middle bits, but that one's a little bit rough. They are the most beautiful. These have just been bought. They are the leather Converse with the deep wedge, I think, with wide leg trousers. Absolutely love them. But I have got other black trainers, so God knows why I thought I should get a pair of them. Really old white boots. And the thing is, if we look closely, the cat has been chewing them. So I probably will have to bin those ones. Oh, these, these are old. They're <laughs> really, really weird things that I wouldn't wear, but they're good for walking because Bruno bought me these in Berlin. We were walking around Berlin and I'd got Uggs, but I didn't want to ruin them because obviously with the rain, and I wanted something a bit more sturdy and comfortable, and they're furry like Uggs, and they were brilliant, walked all the way across Berlin in them, saw the uh, great, the, the Berlin Wall, where it was, wearing those. Oh, these I just bought, I've never worn from Zara. They fall off, I hate things like that, I don't know why I bought those, because they can probably go in the bin. 
things like this I lived in when we used to can't see them very well go out I think they were just um, from House of Fraser or something but I can't wear them anymore I can't wear that heel I can't bend my foot and these are lovely and these these are um, velvet Senso my god that's a really nice make I think they were 300 pounds and they're gorgeous I'm never throwing those away and I've got the sock boots that are lovely and comfortable but again still can't bend my foot for very long they look lovely with tights so you haven't got the join from your leg to your boots and then these ones I've never worn because again that hurts but they are beautiful aren't they but I might have to sell those they're lovely right, so these are boots that I need to pick a few okay then I've got these really old oh my god these are all saints let me go and put the light all saints I love these I think they're so cute and they zip up I wore them to death absolutely to death but I, I think I will I wear them because that's more of my trend now I'll put them up there and these are ash the ash wedges I loved I absolutely wore these to death as well and of course ash are a really good make I love ash you can see but I'm not I think they might have to go in the box I'm never throwing them but they can go in the box then I've got a pair of denim converse with the little things on um, they're not wedgy ones I suppose they could go wide leg trousers but they'd have to be or, or sort of cigarette trousers but they'd have to be shorter because there's no height on those so I'm going to put those in the box then I've got the basic god knows Miss Selfridge can't wear them hurt too much ankle boot so they can go in the thing these are really really old destroy boots oh my god I love these look at that fabric leather whatever it's suede stuff they are so cool they they are so funky can't throw them though but oh my god they're gorgeous they would look so nice with them what did I think of wearing them with yesterday there was something I was gonna wear them with I have to keep those out. I'm going to put those in my unit. I like those. Then we've got along here. These are the Ted Baker, Ted Baker trainers. I wore these to St. Lucia on the aeroplane because I had a pink cape on with tracky bottoms. <laughs> they are really, really comfortable. Again, a lot of money, never really worn. And again, some ash. They're Converse style, but they're not, and they've got the zip. And they're ash, they're really cool, but they're not wedgy enough, and I think they've got that colour to them anyway. I don't think I got them dirty, but they're leather, but I will keep those in my box. And then I've got the pink Converse, which obviously I wouldn't wear, but they're for fancy dress, they're for 80s. When we go to Rewind and Let's Rock, I wear those, so I love them. I've got some black ones in my fancy dress stuff, and some white ones, I think so I can mix and match with whichever outfit I decide to wear. Um, obviously, we booked Let's Rock for this summer. In July, whether we get to go, who knows? Um, going with Annie and Mike and Katrina and Andy. We, we met Annie and Mike at the first sandals, then at the second sandals we met Katrina and Andy. We were all kept in contact, we meet up. And then we went the last time without Andy because they're, they're police, they're in the police, so it's really hard for them to get time off. So when we get in a time to see everybody, it's we go by what their <laughs> theirs are really, what their timetables are. But anyway, why am I digressing onto that? <laughs> Don't know. Let's go back to the shoes. Okay, another Ash pair of trainers. I think I bought these when I went with Dad to um, Tokyo. They've got a little hidden wedge. And it's silly because I've got black trainers and I probably won't wear them, but I might have to put these on Depop. Trouble is there are four, not many people are four. I think I might sell. Let's put them in a sale pile. These are really old. Oh my God, I think they're Timberland, yeah. Timberland, I love them, aren't they lovely? Green, they're probably really in now. I think I'm gonna keep those out. They're kind of the style of the black boots I've been wearing. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to keep those for the unit. 
These I will never wear, but they're Uggs. And they are beautiful, but I really need to sell those. They're beautiful, fur-lined. They say Ugg inside them, as you can see. Need to sell those. So they're gonna go in the sale pile. They're gonna go in the fancy dress pile, so we'll leave those there. Oh, goodness, what were these? I need to sell these. These are, oh, Kendall and Kylie. Kylie Jenner. I wore these to go to a um, city break. God knows where. I think the ash ones might have been New York and these might have been to Tokyo. I mean, they were they're from the designer part of Ferry. I'm never going to wear those. I think I'm going to sell those too. Right, three. Um, throw those. Sell. Hmm, don't know about those. I don't think anybody's going to buy those. Right, these. Oh my goodness, I would never wear any more, except fancy dress. <laughs> they are really spiky. They're really in at the moment, but where am I going to go now? I think I'm going to put those in the box. They're always out for fancy dress when I wear a cat suit on Halloween and things like that. So, and down there, there's two pairs of Uggs. The black, very, very short black and the blue, just for things. It might be a bit more interesting if I kind of talk at the same time with the camera. Of holding up to the shoes. These were my, I'd bought the M's years ago, and, and one pair I had her, like they do, I didn't know what they did, so I put them in the cupboard, and then I found these. Be caring why, they're quite nice, and love them, and they're really comfortable, they've got a zip, really nice, and wore them. My friend Annie said, oh, you got your DMs on. I was on the train with a selfie picture on my feet. And I went, no, they're not, actually. And then I went to see them, and she had her black hair exactly like I had. I'm going to put those in the thing over there. Sorry, close. Um, so I got We went shopping with them, and I found these real DMs. My favourite, the sparkly. They're gorgeous, aren't they? The sparkly black. Jaden or something. So I bought them, Bruno bought them, and I lived in them. And I thought, well, they're soft material, they're really soft. So they're going in the, they're going back in the kelp because I love where them lots. So then I got home and got out my black ones. And I wore them and wore them and wore them. And they stopped hurting. And then I read all the stuff on Mrs. Gloss and the Goss and everything that you have to wear them in. And I lived in these last winter as well. Because obviously last winter before Christmas and the winter before lockdown we could go out so lived in those then like Christmas Bruno bought me you can't even see them they're like a burgundy glitter I love those I love those same sort of thing but in that colour so very very slightly different and you always get different laces as well so I've changed the laces I'm going to keep those three there and then this year Where's my other one? This year when we got Joseph some. I got a white pair. Aren't they cool? Now these came with a tongue in and they're really easy to get on and off way around. But I took it out because I thought they looked cuter without it, but they're harder to get on and off. Aren't they lovely? Love those. So they're all staying with their tongues because I might put those back in. So they can go there. Oh my goodness, some old going out white boots, but I'm going to put them in the box because I have got other pairs, but I can't part with them. You can see they've been danced in, absolutely danced. So I'm going to put those in the, sorry I keep getting too close to the camera. Alright, then I decided because I couldn't wear heels anymore and I wanted to wear, oh, blood, I wanted to wear um, a little First of all, found these little kitten heels. In fact, they need a clean. I have cleaned them very lightly, but I was sick all over them. <laughs> I think it was on Darren's birthday. We went into Oxford and we went out for dinner, ate loads, drank loads, and then at midnight was really, really drunk. Decided to go to a nightclub. <laughs> it's only a couple of years ago. The nightclub our grown-up children go to. Walk towards the nightclub in Oxford and just threw up. And then 
carried on till four o'clock in the morning. So these have a story to tell, but they've got mud on. But they are were so cute and so comfortable because look at that little heel. And I think they are Kurt Geiger. So I ended up black pair. <laughs> so cute and they're the only heel I can wear and I feel like I'm wearing a heel so I'm a bit more elegant so I am going to keep the cream and the black on my cabinet I'm going to put the pink in the box because I'm less likely to need to wear them. these I can't throw but who are these Annie Klein they're gorgeous they they went with lots and I can't throw them suede blue can't get rid of them, can't throw them, so they're gonna go in the box. Okay, oh, I lived in these last year. I'm not into that anymore. Comfy though, but I'm not into leopard print. They're gonna go in the box, no one's gonna buy those, so they can go in the box. Oh, goodness, what's that? Oh, that's some laces for DMs in the middle of that. Okay, so ash, I have a thing about ash. So I bought these. Oh God, about five years ago. Moccasin wedgie boots. They are gorgeous. They're so comfortable to wear forever. Zip up at the back. But I don't really wear them now because they're not really my style. And I had bought them in the brown suede too. But I can't sell and I can't throw these. <laughs> it's like I'm only selling three pairs at the minute. Let's leave those there. Okay. Turn you around now. Right then, these 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 could be thrown. Can't really see me there. Hang on. I'll get up. I don't wear these. White wedges. They are Tommy oh, Tommy Hilfiger. Crocheted white wedges with gold. Oh, I can't. I can't. They're gonna have to go in the cabinet. These I probably won't wear. These are navy Tommy Hilfiger. They are cool, aren't they? I think I wore them to Henley Regatta. Yeah, I wore them with a blue dress to Henley Regatta. I did buy some little blue heeled ones, which I think I threw, but I couldn't wear them. So yeah, I wore those. Might have to keep them in the box. Okay. Won't wear these, so these can go. These are Carvella. They're nice, brown. They're really comfortable, but uh, I might sell those, I think. They're in good condition and I think somebody would want those, so sell those. Sell those. Oh, these, I dug these out. I bought these ages ago from office and I dug them out last year and they looked really cute actually. Just little pumps because I really want the Dior ones and I can't afford the Dior ones and they looked very similar-ish. Not really, but <laughs> in my head I felt like I was wearing Dior. I might wear them in the spring, so we'll we'll put those. I think I'll put them in the box so that they're not in my way. And these ones, oh my god, I can't I can't part with these scents. So aren't they just amazing? Your foot goes in there. How cool! I absolutely love those. They're like um, they feel like that kind of rough print animal fur, but they're not real animal fur. I mean, they were expensive but they are beautiful I absolutely love them and I'm gonna to have to put them in my room just to look at so they're gonna go in my cabinet you never know oh goodness then Havianas can never have enough Havianas the glittery ones I got them this year in Cornwall actually so they can go in the cabinet and then also I buy these every single year the flip-flops from Accessorize I always buy silver and gold to go on holiday. These were for Jamaica this time last year. I throw them away every year and get a new pair, but I will keep those out for when the spring comes. Now, I must have had an obsession with these. I don't know what to do with them because I won't wear them now. But I bought these, I think Topshop London, they're Carvella heeled. And actually, they're the most comfortable heeled shoe I've ever worn, but I still can't really wear them. But I might keep them for weddings. Because I probably wear long dresses, so mm, I don't know. Long dress, you can just wear a flat shoe. Anyway, so I got them in the gold. 
and then I went back and got them in the cream and I have worn the cream and then of course I went back and got them in the black and I've not worn the black I don't think probably won't wear those but they can go in the box I'll keep them for wedding shoes I think these these can go in the bin I bought these are oh, Carvella these are Ronald Cartier not Cartier, Ronald Cartier, cheap. So they're just disco -y. I think I use them for jazz weekends, so they can probably be thrown and a pair like that. I'm gonna throw those, <laughs> nobody wants them. Oh, this year in Cornwall, I ended up with my first pair of Birkenstocks. Brilliant for walking, wooden. Well, they are quite cute, they wouldn't be going out, but Especially when we had lockdown and we went to walk around the lakes a lot, they were quite handy for things like that when it was boiling hot. Right, I'm going to move you again, so let's pause. Move it on a bit. Um, never ever throw these away, and I'll never get rid of them. Um, the year Alexandra McQueen died, so it's a good idea to buy some trainers, uh, sandals. Actually, all his stuff's still out now and I wore them to death, so they're probably not worth anything anymore. But I'm gonna keep those forever, so I'm gonna put those in my box because I don't want them damaged and keep them. Probably throw these Aldo sandals. Don't like those. Don't know, they haven't been worn much. Actually, let's sell those on the sale pile. And then I've got these, I think I've got them gold somewhere, God knows where. I have gold and silver in these, because these are cool for my holidays. But then I've got my silver ash. I don't really need them. Pile over there. These I got from Monsoon, the accessorised, just for holidays. I've got them gold, don't know where they are. I think they might be my holiday drawer in the other room. So, I keep these. Going on my cabinet. These are really old. I think I'll throw these black. Oh, God, hit myself. These black Carvella. They're really old. Nobody wants those. Let's throw those. Okay, oh, these are my favourite. I say that about every pair. These are coach. Coach sandals. You put your foot in. Aren't they lovely? I love them. They're going on the cabinet for the spring. And then last year I invested in some Todd's gold, what they call driving shoes, I think. They are so comfortable, brogue things. I love them and I might invest in a, a neutral pair or backless pair this year. I paid them over a couple of months because they were 400 quid, so I think I paid them over three months. But it was one of those things that I decided to invest in and then I'll keep. I love them. But they're going on the unit because I definitely need to keep those right. Here come some trainers. Oh, love these. Jimmy Choo's. Look at them. As me saying, I've got black trainers there and black trainers there and black Converse. But everything goes with different clothing, so oh, I'll leave you. Absolutely love those. They're definitely staying in the cabinet. And obviously, my favourite, 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 my Burberry. Love. They are staying, definitely. God, I've got quite a lot of stuff going back on the cabinet. Oh, I love these two. My Gucci. They're not the ones with the thick glitter, they're the fine glitter. When we were in Memphis a few years ago, um, this lovely lady, as we were going into the um, Elvis's house, a bit before, when you go to the aeroplane section, she said, oh my God, I love your train. Well, obviously she was 
from Memphis, so she didn't have that voice. And yeah, well, she had. She was a lovely big black lady. Loved her to bits. But she, yeah, she loved them. And when we walked back out, she caught me again. I, lo I loved her. She was so jolly. Lovely woman. And then some more Ash Trainers, black again. But I don't really wear these. So I'm thinking, should I put them in the box? Yeah. They can go in the box with the other. But then I got them in white. And I wear those a lot. They are brilliant with wide leg trousers. So they're a bit like Balenciaga, but I can't afford the Balenciaga. Well, I could if I did it over pavement again, but I don't need another pair. And the Gucci's. Love these Gucci's. The loved ones. Bruno bought them, I think, for Valentine's. Obviously, most of the trainers Bruno's bought. They're I like those. They're staying on the cabinet. And these are cool as well. These are Jimmy Choo's. I don't wear them as much. They are nice, aren't they? Very different. Get those. My most, most favourite. I wore these all the way to Jamaica. Christian Louboutin. They're lovely. Look at the studs. I love, love, love these. So you can't wear them in a minute because the weather's not good at all. So I'll put those there. Oh, these might have to go in the bin. <laughs> Although, I bought these in New Orleans because they were comfortable, these vans. Good for fancy dress, so let's put them with the pink ones. These are Ugg boots, but walking. I haven't worn them, but they might be really handy for this sort of weather, so let's put those in the box. My faithful wear all the time. Suede ankle boots, they don't hurt, so I'm going to probably keep those out. And let's move those so I know what's going in the box. Oh, I've got these in Nashville. I won't wear them very often. So they're a short cowboy boot, traditional from New Orleans keep them for when we do, um, what you call it, nights, cowboy, cowboy nights, line dancing, and they go in their box, they'll stay in the box. Ones I wear all the time, ASOS, we don't need to talk about those, and I've got two pairs of shoes that I've been trying to sell, I need to try again, I might just keep them forever, in two wedges. Got in Vegas. I'm just going to keep those on my display. I'm not Terry de Havilland. Silver wedges, look at the wedge. I'll never wear it, but they're for looking at. They're going to go in the water of the peanut. Oh, I love these. Let me move position again. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be a long video. Tommy Hilfiger. Welly. Love. These are so comfortable. If I put them on, I would be all day. I'm going to keep those on my box. These can go the same with you. I won't wear those, so they can go with those ones. Let's sell, try and sell those ones. And then one pair left. I think these are worn to death. I probably won't wear them anymore. They were Carvella. They were before I got back into the DM, so they could probably go with those. I probably won't wear them in the cabinet. So, other than that, I think you've seen them all. I'll pause and just go back around the really nice ones because it was too dark. Oh, and then I need to sort them out. I need a proper bigger unit in the um, dressing room, I think, because I think that. and have more in there because then I'll wear more and I'm going to put the other ones back in there for now. Let's tidy it up and I'll show you the end result. I just thought I'd finish the little fashion viddle with my Chloe sandals on. <laughs>
thing is, my toe rings have got a funny colour from the hot tub, so I really need to clean those. But they are gorgeous. I cannot wait until March, April, when we can start wearing them. They look backwards in the video. I was just putting the last boxes away. And uh, put them on. They are lovely. I'll show you. So what I'm doing is I'm putting all the designer ones with nice boxes that I'd still got boxes for up there. I need to renew this unit, but I've got gaps. Those boots will not stand up in here, so I need bigger shelving when IKEA opens. And basically, they're all the ones that I wear, and they're obviously a couple that I might. And then my really nice sandals, flip flops, trainers, obviously the Burberry ones are up there, more walking ones, DMs. So that's all the ones that I wear. The box is full in the other room and this is the bits I'm throwing and obviously then I've got the ones I'm selling. That's not much rubbish. There's one shoe over there. <laughs> um, so I'll go get bin bag and throw that away and we're done. Well, hopefully this will be interesting to watch, if not boring. <laughs> My entire shoe collection, obviously yeah, thrown loads away over the last year. Um, and there's slippers and things like that, but I think we've condensed down the amount I need. And at the minute, all I really need is my two pairs of slippers. <laughs> I'll show you the basket of slippers, actually. This basket is full of Uggs and different slippers. I'm living in these new pink ones that are no particular design, because I lost my white company ones, and these ones which I'm going to put on. I think they're Christmassy. And I've got to do some hoovering and dusting up here now. Oh, I don't know what we're going to do when we stop wearing slippers as much. <laughs> well, she's going a bit flat now, so I'm going to go and load this on the computer and charge the camera up for the rest of this week's vlog for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you've got to the end, leave me a shoe emoji. <laughs> I'm trying to be all proper now. Anyway, I'll see you next week.